Hello! Welcome to today's episode of Coming Out Advice. We will talk about um, our own coming outs and we'll also add some advice we've learned on the way. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you should always make sure that you are safe before you are coming out. And if you don't feel safe enough or comfortable or anything at all, don't come out yet or at all. Because you don't have to. No one's forcing you to come out. Yeah. And you are still valid. One more important thing when coming out is that you should always talk to a person you trust. Like a good friend. This could be a good friend. or your best friend, your colleague, whoever, just make sure you trust that person. Um, so when I struggled with my own sexual identity, I um, found comfort when I talked about it with my best friend and also with my sister. And um, because I was so so um, unsure about myself, I didn't know, yeah, am I gay, am I not gay? what's this what I'm uh, feeling and uh, it's always good to talk to people you can trust and who can give you advice or are just there to listen to you yeah I don't think I have anything to add to that <laughs> so I think in my case um, I talked to uh, close friends first although I never had a traditional coming out so I never had the listen, I have to tell you something, talked was rather a listen, I have a new crush and their name is da 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 It's actually quite nice if it's that way yeah. For me it was lots of uh, insecurities and not being sure about what uh, who I mm. really am so I figured that out on the way yeah. by talking to, to my friend or my sister yeah. and they were a great help no, I, I know that I got really lucky that I never really questioned my or well, I did question my sexuality as well but in a different way so I always knew I like women and I always knew it's not a big deal yeah. of course I knew that it's a big deal for many people and that many people won't like me because of that but I, I don't even know why but it just never was it can be this yeah. or that way <laughs> Yeah. Um, you don't have to throw a sexuality or gender reveal party <laughs> and tell everyone at once. So that goes a bit with what we just <sighs> that goes a bit with what we've just said. Um, you can talk to just one person first, and then you talk to the next person, and it gets easier with every time you do that. Of course it does. Yeah. And um, you don't have to do it at all if you don't want to. Just yeah. or if, if you do it like, like uh, as a <laughs> Um Just accidentally said your real name now. Uh, <laughs> I think she forgot my name. No. Um, if it's just uh, how you're dealing with it and it's normal for you from the beginning on, you don't have uh, any insecurities or fears about mm. it then you don't have to do it but if you feel the need to talk to someone make sure you maybe do it a little steps so it gets yeah. easier and you get more yeah. confident with yourself yeah. yeah so whatever feels best so if you want to throw a big party invite everyone and say surprise surprise I'm gay I'm trans I'm whatever it is you have to or want to tell people do that and it might be in a way be easier to do it like that because then it's just it's out in the open and the few people who couldn't make it to the party will hear immediately from the ones who are there because they will say you really missed something so yes. it might be easy as well yes I remember talking to to friends first mm -hmm. and my process was a really well, not slow I guess it was a normal Pace. process yeah. yes uh, but then when it got easier I just mentioned it like uh, me and my girlfriend we are going there and there and I remember um, a friend of mine just uh, answering via whatsapp well that was an easy coming out <laughs> <laughs> so that then it was pretty normal for me but it took a while yeah 
uh, coming out is scary and it's totally okay if you feel anxious or nervous or scared and you shouldn't worry if you feel like that because I guess that's part of the process. It's probably normal. So. I think so. I yeah. was nervous, scared about my surroundings, my job, my workplace, my parents. Mm -hmm. Relatives. Yeah, actually, I wasn't, but I, I guess it's because I just had a different process. Pro so I, I'm still sometimes I'm sometimes still scared because um, so the process never ends. So every time you need you need <laughs> every time you meet new people, you will have or a new coming out. Yeah, I see. in some way or another. Yeah. It's a never-ending process. Yeah. <laughs> and so sometimes, so particularly in work environments, um, it can be scary because you you will never know how the people react. And even though I don't care if a person doesn't like me because of it, uh, it can have an impact on my professional development and I don't want to lose a job or it. Yeah, so it's totally fine if yeah. you're having all those feelings. Yeah. But afterwards, <laughs> you'll be incredibly relieved. So yes. it's it's really worth it. Of, of, uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And I remember you, thinking, oh, I'm free. Yeah, I exactly. You, you can be your real, your true self. Yes. And I think that's all worth it. Yes, it's like a huge yeah. weight that's lifted off your shoulders. Yeah. Be prepared that for some people you're yeah, coming out is a huge surprise and they will have lots of questions because they never would have thought that you are gay or trans or whatever um, because some people just don't think that way if they're not surrounded by many queer or gay people they just don't think about it so yeah. even if you think oh well that should have been obvious in my case some people probably wouldn't have expected it. Yeah. And they will have lots of questions and it's up to you if you answer all those yeah. questions or not. Yeah. I mean, many of these questions might be totally inappropriate. And I would say that most people don't ask these questions to hurt your feelings or to be inappropriate. I guess that most people um, really don't know better and it helps them if you answer their questions but you don't have to and i guess particularly if you come out as lesbian you might get lots of questions about how lesbians are having sex yeah probably not from your closest friends but who knows yeah you'll never know yes. and as sad as it is you might lose friends or it. And so for us, both of us, that never was a an issue. an issue. And so I guess both of us always thought that if a person doesn't want to be with, uh, with us because we are lesbian, um, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care because if you don't accept me the way I am, I don't want you in my life. And... But that can be scary as well, and it can be hurtful. Yes, and definitely, if you lose friends. I guess you have more experience with yeah. that. For me, I lost uh, lots of friends because I was uh, in a relationship with a man for many years. And when I broke up with him, all of my closest friends, or seemed to be my closest friends... Um, most. Most of them. Not all of them, of course. Most of them, but many mm -hmm. people. Um, I lost them during that process because they um, they picked sides. They picked sides and they didn't choose my side. Yeah. Um, because and lots of my former friends um, didn't really know how to handle that situation. They felt kind of. I think they felt kind of weird to um, to come to my side and to ask how I was doing, uh, and when they found out I'm interested in women uh, they didn't know what to say and they just uh, I think it's it was easier for them to pick to pick the other side yeah so that and was I, sad yeah. you'll never know why it could be just picking sides because he was the one 
was left. Probably, yeah. But it's 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 hurtful. Yes. I just had a couple of people and they weren't so they definitely weren't close friends. I'm not even sure if they were friends or just acquaintances. And I don't even know until today if that was the reason. In both cases, um, I was writing emails at that point with these two people and I said, yeah, well, my new girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. And that's where the email cha chains <laughs> ended. So could be a coincidence. But who knows? We will never know, but yeah. uh, be prepared that sometimes disappointing things like that can happen. Yeah. But then it's not you that's the problem, it's no, always not. those other yeah. people. And yeah. you know who your real friends are, so that's a big plus point. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you should always remember that your closest friends probably already know. They <laughs> probably knew before you did. And they will celebrate you and your coming out and your identity. Yes. No matter what. They will. Yeah. That's why they are your closest friends. Yes. And you'll feel relieved and uh, it's gonna be uh, your, your friendship strengthens because of it. So this would probably be uh, our most important advice for you and I'm sure there are lots of more and in the end it's uh, your own way and that's yeah. that's probably the most important thing. You do it in your uh, own pace, own pace, your own way, you decide. You are the author of your own coming out story. How awesome is that? <laughs> well, yes, you are. And um, she didn't like from uh, from our experience, you'll feel so much better afterwards because yeah. all those doubts and and fears and and thoughts will suddenly be no problem. Yeah, they anymore. seem ridiculous actually. Yeah, because yeah. you see, if you're surrounded by the right people, and I'm sure everyone has a good friend or a person you can trust, you'll see that this is really not a big deal. It's it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. It's the most natural thing in the world. So. so, thanks for watching. Add your own advice in the comments and see you next time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching and bye bye. Bye.